Hi friends, my name is Kapil Mandavewala and I'm the founder of Edible Roots, an organization based in Delhi. We help people grow food in urban spaces. Today, I want to talk to you about why should we be growing our own food and how you can get started with this in your own home today itself. So, let's first understand why should we be growing our own food. I'm sure you have heard that nowadays our food has lots of chemicals, pesticides and also a lot of adulteration and, and the food is being tampered with when we are buying it from the market. One of the reasons why our food has all these chemicals and pesticides is because our food has gone far away from us. The average distance the food travels in India today is about 800 kilometers before it reaches us. What happened because of this is we lost answers to three very important questions about our food. First question is who is growing it? The second question is where is it being grown? And the third question is how is it being grown? Let's understand this a bit better. If we go back 70, 80, 90 years, our food was grown very close to us. Most of the vegetables grew in our own backyard or in, around our house. The grains and pulses grew in the same village or a nearby village and the food did not travel as much. Because of which we knew who was growing it, most likely ourselves or a neighboring farmer who was growing it for us. Or we also knew how it was being grown. We knew what manure, what nutrition was being given to plants. There were no chemicals at that time, but, but otherwise we would also know what, what chemicals are being added, if anything, or what, whatever is being done, how is the plant being grown? What is it being done so that the food is most nutritious for us? And the third, where is it being grown? Now, since the food was very close to us 70, 80 years ago, we knew where the food is growing. Today, as I mentioned earlier, the food is traveling 800 kilometers on average. That's why we don't know where is it being grown. Let me ask you a question. What did you eat today? And do you know who grew it? Do you know the farmer? Do you know where it was grown? Do you know how it was grown? Probably the answers are no to all the three questions. The reason it's important to know these answers is because we want to eliminate these chemicals and pesticides from our daily life. We know they are very harmful to us, we know they damage our health, we know they cause many diseases and many problems in our body and our mind. So one of the things we can do is we can start growing our own food. Now why should we grow our own food? Because I believe that is the first step in the journey towards taking control of our food, what we eat and put inside our mouth. When you start growing your own food, you obviously know who is growing it. You also know where is it being grown and how is it being grown. Once you start doing this, you will suddenly have answers to these three questions. And when you eat that food that you have grown yourself, you will suddenly feel, wow, this is very different than what I buy in the market. It tastes very different and you feel very different about it because you put in the effort of growing it. However, more importantly, what happens when you start growing it yourself is you become more aware of nature. You will suddenly be more conscious of how hot it is out there because your plant may not like it. Or if it's raining too much, you might have to protect your plant from too much rain. So suddenly you're more conscious of your environment. Also, you will start looking out to buy food that is grown in a more conscious manner where you know the farmer, where you know where it was grown or how it was grown by asking questions from wherever you buy your food as to who, where this food came from. This overall will lead to a better health for yourself and for people around you. So before any further delay, I would like to give you some very simple instructions today to start growing your own food. The first thing that comes to our mind when we want to grow something is soil. So we have to understand how to get good soil with good nutrition so that our plants grow really well. Today I'm going to give you a very easy recipe to get started. The first thing 
you need is of course to get some soil the regular soil that might be in your garden in a park nearby okay so first thing you, is you get the soil the second thing you want to get is something called compost compost is what eventually all biomass all biodegradable things degrade into and become like soil but it's very black in color and rich for and in nutrients for the plants most of you already know what compost is it, it's also known as manure or vermicompost there are many forms of it so the second thing you need is compost and the third thing is you want to get lots of dry leaves you might have a park nearby where you can collect this from or if you are not able to find dry leaves you can find something called coco peat coco peat is the coconut fiber the dry coconut fiber which is crushed into a powder so now you have three things soil compost and dry leaves or coco peat you take all all three in the same proportion in the same amount and mix them all together okay you mix them all together this will give you a really good healthy soil for your plants then you find a container or if you have a garden you can grow in your own garden by creating a heap of this soil so that that area is very rich in healthy soil or if you have a container just mix these three things fill the container up make sure there's a hole at the bottom of the container for the water to drain out and then the next step is to learn how to plant today i want to suggest to you that you start by growing chilies i know some of you might find it very hot it's very spicy in your mouth but it's a very easy plant to grow it takes some time it'll take about 3 to 4 months before you get any chilies but it's a it's a very easy plant to grow and it will grow across the country in this season that we are currently in and it's also going to be easier for you to find the seeds if you can't find the seeds in the market a very easy way to get the seeds is most of our indian homes have that the whole red chili inside our kitchen inside the whole red chili you will find some white colored seeds so get about 8 or 10 seeds get your pot make sure you you dig a hole in the pot about half a finger deep and then you put one seed in each hole so make about 7 8 holes in the pot cover your pot with with the soil again and then all you have to do is water it little bit about half a liter every day okay so i'll repeat the steps again get equal amounts of soil compost and dry leaf or coco peat mix it all together put it inside the pot get some seeds of chili from your kitchen or from the market make holes inside the pot about half a finger deep put one seed in each hole cover the soil again so that the seeds are not visible anymore and then you water it nicely every day with about half a liter daily this is how you can begin growing in your own house immediately make sure you keep the pot in a in a slightly sunny area because the plants need the sunlight to do the photosynthesis the process by which they capture sun's energy and produce food so make sure you put the pot in a place where where you get some sunlight so to summarize today's discussion it's very important for us to understand that our food today has lots of chemicals and adulteration and pesticides which are not which are not good for us they are very harmful for us one way to bring about a change in this around us is is to begin by growing our own food to begin growing your own food make sure you have a good healthy soil a pot with a hole at the bottom fill the pot put it in a sunny area plant the seeds and water it daily i really urge you to take action today make sure you at least plant one pot and if you are really excited you can plant even 5 or 10 but make sure you take some action and you plant a seed inside a pot today or tomorrow if you get some really nice plants growing and when you get some nice chilies you can send me some photos as well you can visit our website edibleroots.com the spelling of roots is r o u t e s so make sure you visit our website edibleroots.com and you can contact us from there via email or phone and send us the photographs of your plants i hope you enjoyed today's session and i really look forward to seeing you take some action take care bye